I am going to be testing out this Bliss Light Skylight Projector. Oh my gosh, I'm actually really, really excited about this. Wow, look. No, that looks so cool. Kia, the power to surprise. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. So, for today's video, it is another light video. I am going to be testing out this Bliss Light Skylight Projector. Now, I have already done two of these. Well, I did one with another Starlight Projector and one with LED lights. And you guys seem to find the reviews really helpful. And a couple of you have actually asked me to test this one out. So I think this is the one Madison Beer has, which I'm quite excited about. Surely that means it's good quality. <laughs> So when I was looking at these on Amazon, I realised that you can only get ones that project green and blue or ones that project blue. So like the other one that I reviewed, I will link that down below if you want to see that one instead. It's not a rainbow colour. It's not going to make your ceiling rainbow. It's going to make it one colour or two, but this one's only blue. But it is more expensive. It is a bit more pricey and does seem better quality. So I'm hoping overall... This one might actually be better, even though it's only one colour. I mean, does that really matter? I don't know. So anyway, let's open it and find out. So I'm going to cut the box open. I'm quite excited about this one because I feel like this is going to be really good. I mean, like I said, it's on the pricier side. Even already looking at the box, it's better than the other one. Not that the other one was bad, like I said, but just i mean for starters it comes with instructions the other one was very confusing i mean it wasn't i was just stupid but so you get these instructions and then this is it um yeah i did actually want that thank you very much first of all what i'm noticing is it comes with a plug which is always really helpful the other one didn't it literally just had um like the usb end and i had to get my own plug so that wasn't great this is it oh my gosh i'm actually really really excited about this okay so also this one has not got a bluetooth speaker on it which i guess was quite helpful with the other one that i tested out but i don't really ever use the bluetooth speaker i have my phone i have alexa you can have Google Home, play music on your TV. Anyway, so let's try this one out. I'm going to plug it in. Luckily, this one does look like it's made for stupid people. And I'm not going to spend about 20 minutes uh, trying to set it up like I did with the other ones. So <laughs> also, what I've noticed in this one is you get another adapter with it. So if you live somewhere <laughs> that only has two prongs on their adapter thing, then great really helpful for you guys okay so i'm gonna plug this in down here just so you can see it let me check because there's no remote with this one so how do i control it just from the buttons on it bear with bear with three hours later <laughs> so this is the projector when it's plugged in the cable is quite short but what's really helpful about this one that some of the other ones haven't got is that the projector bit is actually on the side pointing diagonally <laughs> some of the other ones like the other one i have reviewed if you go and look at it points straight up which means that you kind of have to have it in the middle of the room for it to be directly in the middle of the ceiling i have got my what is that called ring light i have got my ring light on so you can't see the full effect but just to show you it is actually pointing directly into the middle of the ceiling which my other one didn't do i had to have that one literally right there so i guess it doesn't matter that the wire is so short because it can be to the side of the room oh look you can also point it so it's pointing up straight up because it has three bits on it so if you want it to point straight up and you do want it to be in the middle of the room then you can that's actually really good so this is the projector and this one is for the laser i am assuming i currently have both of them on if i turn the laser off okay so that's just the laser as you can see the projector's turned off and that is just the projector as you can see the laser has turned off so it's really easy to use it just has the on button which if you press it 
multiple times just skips through different settings for example the laser and the projector just the laser just the projector or you can have them fading you can also control the movement so you can see here it's moving it's probably not best to show you this with my light on so you can see here that it's moving very slowly <laughs> but it is okay so anyway that's it really it hasn't got any more settings than that that's about it i have got this on so you can still actually see it really quite brightly even though i have my other light on which is quite handy because the other one wasn't so so bright i don't think it was a little bit harder to see if i did have those lights on um i might actually just try and put my led lights on still got my christmas tree up by the way okay so i have my led lights on okay so even though the projector is only one color which is blue i do also have led lights as i was just showing you and it doesn't really matter that the projector is only one color i mean if you don't also have led lights then the projector only being one color might be a bit annoying for you but because i have the led lights it kind of just makes it less confusing that the projector is only one color because uh, the other projector I did have was rainbow colours and when I had that on and the LED lights it kind of just gave you a bit of a headache and well I'll just show you so for example now my LED lights are on pink and it kind of just all makes it blend into one so there we go my LED lights are now on green and as you can see, the ceiling is just blue, which I think looks really, really cool. There are a lot of lights on in here. I am aware that I do have a lot of lights. <laughs> but if you're in bed and you have your LED lights on and the projector, it does still look really cool. Let me turn everything off for you just so I can show you the full effect of the projector by itself. There we go. You can now see the full effect of just the projector. I guess if you wanted to, you don't even really have to have it pointing at the ceiling. Wow, look, if I've just pointed it at my room. So say for example I was in bed watching TV, you really can't get the full effect of this on here but it is really cool. Okay so in conclusion this is actually really really good. I think the fact that it is just blue doesn't really matter too much if you just want a cool skylight projector. It would be nice to have the multicoloured ones. But, like I said, if you do have LED lights as well, I mean, bit of a stretch. I don't know how many of you are going to have LED lights and a starlight projector. But if you do, it doesn't really matter. It kind of makes it a bit more straightforward because this is only one colour. And LED lights are normally multiple colours. And I know when I had my other starlight projector that was also multiple colours, it just was a bit too much. And also, because this one is a bit more expensive and a bit better quality, it is really bright and you can still really see it even when your LED lights are on. So that is one helpful thing. It does not come with a remote though and it doesn't have an app. So if you do want to change it, if you do want to change how they're moving, because the, you can change all that, the projection, the speed in which they move, whether you just have the laser on, whether you just have the projector on. If you do want to change that, and you're lazy like me, you are gonna have to get up and it is gonna be a bit annoying. <laughs> the other one that I had did come with a remote. Uh, but I mean, apart from all that, this is great. If you have it or if you're looking to get it, go for it. <laughs> I will link the other one down below because that also did have a Bluetooth speaker and it was cheaper. So I'll let you make your own mind up about that. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video 
and found it kind of helpful if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i might try and make some more of these maybe buy a few more lights or a few other bits that i can review because you have been finding these really helpful and yeah i will see you in the next one also a few people asked me to do a room tour so maybe i'll do that i don't know anyway <laughs> bye Take your place, please.